Hello everybody, I'm just going on a quick little nature walk. Really quick. I, I wonder why it doesn't let me uh flip the camera over. I don't know why it doesn't. But <laughs> the reason why I'm doing this journey is because I recently found out that I have like a wheat allergy and I had no idea. I think I just developed it like some months ago. A lot of us probably have these issues and we don't even know about it. It's like when I when I eat um, certain things, my face would break out. I would have a whole bunch of like red little bumps like around here, here and here and just like everywhere. I have a lot of eczema. I would be bloated all the time. Sometimes I would just feel like I'm pregnant or even look like I'm pregnant because I was so bloated. I'll try to find that picture and insert it. It was just crazy. Or sometimes I would just have some headaches. And sometimes with this, it can mess with your cognitive issues and make you just be spaced out. Or you can, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like brain fog. Yeah, that's what it is. Like brain fog when you have a wheat allergy. And then sometimes I would have some bad stomach pains. And then I would just be gassy. <laughs> it's like I could be at work or around people and I just feel gassy. And, it, and I'll just be like. <laughs> or if I'm with somebody, I'm just like, if I'm at the house, I'll just be like. Damn, I, I hope you don't hear that or smell that, but I gotta let these out, man. I'm just like super nasty. And I remember one night, um, I was in the bed sleep, and I just woke up like screaming to like excruciating pain in my stomach. Like I just didn't know what was going on. And sometimes when I would eat, like maybe my nose would drip. Like, you know how sometimes when some people eat spicy food and they nose would drip? Like, that's what would happen to me when I would eat some wheat products. <clears throat> and we don't know. Well, some people, some of us know. Wheat is in, like, a lot of things. Like, almost everything. Most of the good things. Because <laughs> I know we love pastas. We love, like, chips and bread and using flour. It's even in some candies. It's in a lot of stuff. Like I'll have to find a, a link or something or a video where it says everything that it's in and I'll link it and post it below, whatever. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm just showing y'all <laughs> my journey with this because this is day two. Yesterday, I, uh, I changed my eating, but I still felt like the headaches. My throat was scratchy and itchy. My voice sounded like it was changing. My voice, I mean, not my voice. My throat is still a little scratchy, but it's not as bad. Like, it's gotten way better. I was just, like, sucking on some mints and stuff so it can provide moisture and soothe my throat yesterday. So that helped. But, yeah. Uh, maybe I sound a little stuffy but like I said this is day by day and it's gonna take some time for it to get out of my system my stomach not as bloated as all sometimes um I would be like constipated but my stomach has gotten better on uh, producing bowel and I've been going to the bathroom you know like way better and also I've been drinking a lot of water too you should, you should drink a lot of water. <clears throat> I've been uh, drinking like six, eight ounces. I'm going to try to get up to eight, eight ounces. Well, not even try. I'm just going to do it. Like, that's the better way. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make my way up to it. And a lot of us, because it'd be wintertime, and we'd be like, we don't need to be drinking no water. It's wintertime. We need to be drinking water 365 days of the year. So... Like, water is good for us. We are made of mainly water anyway. So, we have to put that water back into our bodies. We need to stay hydrated. And keep our kidneys clean. So, we definitely need water. Water, water, water. 
Bata. I'm also going to ground myself. If you guys don't know about grounding yourself, I could like list some information or I could do a video or something about it later. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about grounding. It's like, or they also call it earthing. It's where you put your body like you connect with the earth. Like, we'll just put it like that. You can walk on the grass barefoot for like 15 minutes or whatever. You can lay in the grass and just sit there and, or meditate. You can do that. You can put your hands in the in the grass too. Or you can do the dirt. Or you can do water. Typically what I do, I like um, <clears throat> putting my feet in the dirt and the water. The water kind of been cold lately, but it's starting to warm up now. So it might be like a whoo when you first put your feet in there, but our body adjusts to whatever environment we're in. So it'll get used to the cold when we put our feet in the cold. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm trying to get there so I can show you what I do. I was grounding the other day and it was cold and kind of rainy. I had a hood on my head and I was sitting down and I was minding my own business. It was actually like in a meditative state where I just like stare at the water because I just love water. Although I don't know how to swim. I need, uh, I need to learn how to swim. Somebody can teach me or something, I don't know. Maybe it'll just come to me, but. <laughs> I had my feet in the water with my hood on and I was just sitting there, like I said, in the meditative state. And a lot of people saw me, I really don't care. But then <laughs> this brother had came by, I was like, are you okay? Like, it's gonna be okay, my sister. As if I was sad or like, I thought it was the end of the world or something. I don't know why a lot of people be just assuming or thinking something's going on just because they're looking at looking at things in their perspective and they judging without even knowing that I was just grounding myself I wasn't sitting there like I was depressing it's the end of the world but I don't know there's just a lot of things we all need to come to an understanding about but it's all good. Let's see, I'm here. Let's see. Wish I could change the camera around. And let me do it. Sorry, my nose is still a little stuffy. It'll disappear soon. Okay. My jeans might get wet. I'm in some jeans. It's okay. <laughs> you see I'm under a bridge oh yeah let me show you my water see my face is peeling I mean it's a good thing but it's just like walking around like dang my face is peeling like shoot I I'll be drinking my water in glass glass bottles and I have also have this bottle with crystals at the bottom so we all should try to drink our watering glass. I mean, you know, you can look up that too instead of drinking the plastic. But sometimes I'll just like come in here and just enjoying the water sounds. Can y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all could hear that. It just sounds soothing. It really does. It sounds very soothing. Let's see if I can show you the wall. <laughs> and what I do is I take off my shoes. Excuse my ashy feet. <laughs> I'm gonna put some lotion on after I finish this. Yeah. 
Like I said, I'm just the real deal here. I'm just the real deal. And I just rub my feet like this. And I just sit here for a while. You can sit here 10, 15, 20, 30, however long. However long you feel the need to. But I would say at least do 10, 15 minutes. But when you're just starting out, um, I would say 10, 15 minutes are good. Or maybe even try five and try to work your way up to it because a lot of us have a problem with sitting still and, and we just like first starting out grounding and meditating we have a problem with just sitting still doing nothing so you have to work your way up to it and do everything in increments but i'll talk to you guys later maybe uh, let's see Maybe tomorrow or so, I'll be giving some updates because I'm really just going to eat the same thing I ate again. So, like when I make another meal, I'll show you guys. I have to figure out how to hold the camera and cook at the same time. I don't know. I have to figure that out. I'm new to this. It's okay. We're going to grow together. We're in this together. We're on this journey together. So, um, That's about it, really. I look forward to doing this with you guys and we can kind of talk about any and everything, all that I can, you know. All right, dude. Peace.